Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what do you know about The Last Science Show? The only show doing a full-blown honorary episode every day of Black History Month for black scientists. It's a blessing I'm able to do it, and I'm grateful to them for persevering and making history. Today, let's talk about Charles Henry Turner. Charles Henry Turner, a zoologist and scholar, was the first person to discover that insects can hear and alter behavior based on previous experience. Let's go. Charles Henry Turner was a pioneering African-American scientist and scholar. Among his most notable achievements, Turner was the first African-American to receive a PhD in zoology from the University of Chicago, and the first person to discover that insects can hear and alter behavior based on previous experience. He died in Chicago, Illinois in 1923. Pioneering African-American scientist Charles Henry Turner was born on February 3, 1867 in Cincinnati, Ohio. His father worked as a custodian and his mother was a practical nurse and the young Turner was actively encouraged to read and learn. Turner excelled at his studies, graduating from Gaines High School in 1886 as class valedictorian. He enrolled at the University of Cincinnati that same year and in 1887, he wed Leontine Troy. The couple later had two sons, Henry and Darwin, before his wife's death in 1895. Turner graduated with a bachelor's degree in biology in 1891 and earned a master's degree from the University of Cincinnati the following year. During his studies, Turner found work as a teacher at a number of schools and had an assistantship at his alma mater from 1891 to 1893. To help find a teaching position, Turner contacted Booker T. Washington at the Tuskegee Normal and Industrial Institute, now known Tuskegee University, in Alabama. Some reports indicate that Turner lost out on a position at the institute to George Washington Carver, another distinguished African-American scientist. Instead, Turner moved to Atlanta, Georgia, where he taught at Clark College later known as Clark Atlanta University, from 1893 to 1905. In 1907, Turner graduated from the University of Chicago with a PhD in zoology, becoming the first African American to receive such a degree from the institution. Shortly after being turned down for a teaching position at the University of Chicago, Turner moved to St. Louis, Missouri, where he taught at Summer High School until 1922. During his career, Turner published more than 70 research papers. He pioneered research techniques in the study of animal behavior and made several important discoveries that advanced our understanding of the natural world. Among his most notable achievements, Turner was the first person to discover that insects can hear and alter behavior based on previous experience. He showed that insects were capable of learning, illustrating in two of his most famous research projects that honeybees can see in color and recognize patterns. He conducted some of these experiments while working at summer without the benefit of research assistance or laboratory space. In 1922, Turner moved to Chicago, Illinois to live with his son, Darwin. He died there on February 14, 1923. His last scientific paper was published the year after his death, in which he explored a method for conducting field research on freshwater invertebrate. Several schools have been named in Turner's honor in St. Louis, Missouri, the city where he spent so many years as a teacher. On the campus of Clark Atlanta University, he is remembered on the Tanner Turner Hall building, and children have learned about his influential work through the 1997 children's book, Bug Watching with Charles Henry Turner by M. E. Ross. In recent years, his groundbreaking work has been reintroduced to the public through the publication of selected papers and biography of Charles Henry Turner, pioneer of comparative animal behavior studies, published in 2003. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another episode of The Last Science Show, learning about this legend, Charles Henry Turner. Continue to like, subscribe, comment, and share so we can drop more great information about these wonderful black scientists. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good science.
The first black scientist we are going to honor is George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver was an African-American scientist and educator. Carver is famous for many inventions, including a number of uses for the peanut. George Washington Carver was born enslaved and went on to become one of the most prominent scientists and inventors of his time, as well as a teacher of the Tuskegee Institute. Carver devised over 100 products using one major crop, the peanut, including dyes, plastics, and gasoline. Carver was most likely born in 1864, enslaved in Diamond, Missouri, during the Civil War years. Like many children of the enslaved, uh, the exact year and date of his birth are unknown. Carver was one of many children born to Mary and Giles, an enslaved couple owned by Moses Carver. A week after his birth, Carver was kidnapped along with his sister and mother from the Carver farm by raiders from the neighboring state of Arkansas. The three were later sold in Kentucky. Among them, only the infant Carver was located by an agent of Moses Carver and returned to Missouri. The conclusion of the Civil War in 1865 brought the end of slavery in Missouri. Moses and his wife Susan decided to keep Carver and his brother James at their house after that time. Annie Jean Easley was an American computer scientist, mathematician, and rocket scientist. She worked for the Lewis Research Center of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and its predecessor, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. Annie Easley had never heard of the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, also known as NACA, when she read an article about twin sisters who were human computers at the Aircraft Engine Research Laboratory in Cleveland, Ohio. The lab, the predecessor of the NASA Glenn Research Center, was in need of people with strong math skills, and she was in need of a job after recently relocating from Birmingham, Alabama. Two weeks after reading the article, Easley began a career that would span 34 years. She would contribute to numerous programs as a computer scientist, inspire many through her enthusiastic participation in outreach programs, break down barriers for women, and people of color in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. May C. Jemison is an American astronaut and physician who, on June 4, 1987, became the first African-American woman to be admitted into NASTRA's astronaut training program. On September 12, 1992, Jemison finally flew into space with six other astronauts aboard the Endeavour on mission STS-47, becoming the first African-American woman in space. In recognition of her accomplishments, Jemison has received several awards and honorary doctorates. Jemison was born on October 17, 1956, in Decatur, Alabama. She is the youngest child of Charlie Jemison, a roofer and carpenter, and Dorothy Jemison, an elementary school teacher. Her sister, Ada Jemison Bullock, became a child psychiatrist, and her brother, Charles Jemison, is a real estate broker. Sounds like a successful family. The Jemison family moved to Chicago, Illinois when Jemison was three years old to take advantage of better educational opportunities, and it is that city that she calls her hometown. 